There is a new African in the world. That new African show that after all. The you black man is not awesome. managing the world of us. So, as the purpose of this cover, when you go to the Americas, you are also discovered. A time of gold. Welcome back to another episode of the Cruise Line Podcast, y'all. It's your boy, King Alpho. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Nana out here, a.k.a. Juice. Let's go. Man, we got the best barber in Kansas City uh, in the building, man. I'll forgive you that you title. I'll me. forgive you that title. <laughs> nah, not yet, bro. It's so, it's so many barbers. I'm just, I'm just one of them. That's love. Yeah, That's love. Yeah. But to me, we got, okay, one of the best barbers, the best barbers. Okay, in yeah. Kansas City that, yeah. in the building, man. I we got Lele in the house, man. Cut. You got to get your Yeah, nah, you got to pull up. Nah, for real, for real. But we got a Lele in the building, man. Um, I've known him for about uh, about three years now. I think that's mm -hmm. when I got my first haircut from yeah. him. And um, I was recommended, somebody recommended you to me. And okay. it was nothing but good vibes. And ever Definitely. since I, oh, if yeah. I get wedding or something, they yeah, say, you boys, so up, come man. clean up, Definitely. you feel me? But um, welcome to the Cruise Line family. Um, yeah, appreciate you. You want to tell the audience much about just who you are as a person, okay. what you do. I know it's not just the haircuts. Yeah, it's, definitely. It's a whole lot to Lily, yes, sir. So. Yeah, so my name is Ayla Legile. He said Alili, but, you know, that's what Americans call me. Okay. But in so how do you actually Nigeria, say it? Ayla Legile. Ayla Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say the right Ayla way. Ayla Legile. So, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So I'm a barber and... um. I do, I do a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barber, I used to draw. I used to do photography, videos, all types of stuff, but I just had to focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, right now, main thing is barbering. What made you get into barbering, though? Um, So, it's kind of different. Because, you know, in an African home, you don't really get haircuts. Like, right. That's, like, rare, special occasions. So, when we moved here from Nigeria... We used to go get haircuts like every two months. Mm. Then when I when I go to school, I'm like, okay, one week I have it through. Mm -hmm. Next week, two months later, I'm fresh. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, what's going on? Hey, you know, America, Americans get haircuts a right, lot. Like, like everybody coming weeks. in every two yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, Ooh, every yeah. week. Tip. Week, yeah. So I'm like, bro, me and four of my brothers, we're like, yo, we're looking rough. Man. Uh, like everybody so, cleaned up. Bro, nice. my oldest, my older, my oldest brother, he went to Walmart, bought like a ten dollar clipper. So we're in, we're cutting everybody's hair. Mm. So me, I'm I'm a person that if I'm doing something and I have interest in it, I try to find ways to take it to you know I try to nice find so. ways to get better at it. Okay. So with time, I'm cutting my brother's hair. My brother's cutting my hair, mm. but I'm getting better because I'm you know I'm doing my research right. at nights. I'm watching YouTube videos and everything. So my brother's haircut is looking better than mine. Yeah, yo, because he he's cutting he's your hair. cutting my own, but he have no interest. I, my my brother is he smart just as hell. He's an engineer, right. extremely smart. Don't have interest in haircuts right. at all. So after a while, I'm like, bro, you know what? I'll cut my own hair, but I'll still cut you guys. You know what I'm saying? How'd you cut your own hair, though? Bro, you hold plenty mirror. Hey, yo, they tell you, you try hold plenty it, mirror. Try but, it, I mean, it's it's hard, but. It's, what I was doing was better than what, what my brother would give me. he was doing with his eyes. Yeah, so I was cutting off four of my brothers. Then I was cutting my own. Then after a while, my guys from school. Because, you mm -hmm. know, in America, when you're in when you're in school, it's, it go by district. Right, right. So everybody that's in your neighborhood mm -hmm. go to the same school. Right. So I was cutting people in my neighborhood, which is like my classmates mm -hmm. and stuff. So my mom gave me the, my mom gave me the garage because... Mm -hmm. Africans, they don't park car in the garage. Yeah, the garage is <laughs> so, storage house. Yeah, storage so is. we had like, bro, like four fridge in the garage. <laughs> so I just clear one corner, right. put you inside. So everybody were pulling up and I was just, I was cutting everybody in, all through right. high school. Not for free though. Uh, like $5, bro. $5, $2. okay. $5, okay. $2. Okay. $2. It was really nothing. Right. But back then, you know, yeah, five, yeah. it, it adds up. up. Yeah. And, you know, African home, you can't mm -hmm. go work. You can't go work right. like everybody else. Like, right. Everybody in my school, they are working. Everybody but you didn't know Joe. Money. And it's why, why is it like that though? Nah, but but the older I got, you know, it's it's good and bad. Because technically I don't think a kid should be worried about money. True. Cause it kind of pulls you away from your education. Right. Because you you're making money yeah. now. So if you're somebody that's a hustler, it helps you because mm -hmm. now you want to make money. Mm -hmm. But you know your parents won't let you walk. Right. So bro, I was selling iPhone. I was jailbreaking iPhone. Everything. <laughs> bro, that was back then. People would steal people would steal iPhone. Yeah, it's locked up. I would buy I would buy it from them. Fifty dollars. Uh -huh. Right. Sell it on Craigslist, two fifty. Right. In the same day. So it made me like hustle. Mm -hmm. 
So I was doing photography in high school, but I was cutting hair too. Bro, even on prom day, I cut people hair for prom. <laughs> then I'll go take their picture for prom. They, well, I didn't go to go prom. prom. <laughs> I went to the after party. <laughs> so, bro, it, it, it gave me like a different type of mm -hmm. hustler mentality, but in a good way. Right. So that's what got me to where I'm at now. That's what made me right. the type of person that I am now. Mm. So that's why I say it's a good thing and because be if they told too. me I could go work then, I'd buy for the McDonald's, right, from McDonald's, right. I for entire warehouse, from warehouse, I for their Amazon. Because yeah. cool. yeah. you're so used to, you want to make quick cash because mm -hmm. you want to look fly, you want right, to look fresh, right. you want to fit in with everybody. Right. So yeah, that's what got me into yeah. cutting hair. Why do you guys? Because uh, I know when I was getting a haircut, you were telling me your family's in Atlanta, right? Yeah, they moved. They moved. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, they've left Atlanta? No, nah, they left Kansas City. Oh, they left <laughs> Kansas City. So we, we all moved here in 2006. Okay. Then um, 2008, one of my brother left. Mm. He, went to, he went to Chicago for school. Then um, 2010, my other brother went to MKC, but he graduated at 2012. Okay. That's when I graduated high school. So everybody were moving. Mm -hmm. Then after a while, Mom C, it was it was one winter. Mom C had like two car wrecks mm. in the snow. Dang. And she's like, man, I'm over this. Yeah, man. yeah. You know, she's coming from Nigeria, bro. Ah, it's too cold. Right, it's cold. So she's like, man, I want to move to somewhere that's like that's Nigeria. Hot. Yeah. Right. So it was either between Texas or Atlanta. Atlanta. So they moved to Atlanta. I had to make a quick decision. Do I want to stay? Mm. And keep cutting by then, my business will slowly, up, yeah, will slowly yeah. getting better. Or go to Atlanta and start it fresh. Mm. But if I moved to Atlanta, I probably wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have cut hair. I right, probably right. would have just find something else to do. Find so I, job I, I go hustle. Yeah, I stayed back. I'm <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, let yeah, me, yeah, yeah. let me, let me focus on my craft a little bit. Right, right, right. I'm kind of glad I did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, yeah. I mean, every, you, you now you didn't see the results. I swear. Yeah. That. Right, try, right, try. Yeah, Charlie, right now, I hear say Atlanta be the capital of Nigeria, bro. Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> Atlanta's <laughs> low, man. But you know what? 2000, 2016. So I got to a point of my career, man. I'm having so much fun. I'm making a nice amount. So I'm like, yo, let me try this. Let me work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm -hmm. Then four days off. Mm -hmm. So I was working in Kansas City for three days. Three days. I was staying in Atlanta for four days. Wait, so you will fly back? I was flying. Everywhere. Money was coming in bro, like money that. Money was flying, bro. I didn't have responsibility. Right. I didn't have kids. Right. I'm young, so I'm like, shit, fuck it. Right. So I, I fly in town on Thursday. I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I leave Saturday night. Me and my brother were rented apartments in Buckhead. Mm. But I had to run away, man. <laughs> I, had, I, I did it for six months. We signed the one-year lease. But I told him, I told my brother, bro, you can have it. Yeah, I'm yeah, gone. Because, yeah. bro, those yourself? four days, we were partying morning till night. You didn't even need the spot. Bro, we were partying. I get there on Saturday night. We're out Saturday. We're out Sunday. We're out Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday from club, I'll go to the airport. On Thursday, I'm back at Man, work. How are you out of the club on a Tuesday? Bro, it's Atlanta now, seven days I, a week, bro. It, it, it check like a crowd. It's seven, city. Bro, Atlanta is, <laughs> bro, they're Africans there. Africans That's what I'm saying. Don't, they don't sleep. Bro, they don't sleep. They do this That's shit wild. every day, bro. Tell it to the morning, I'm though. I don't able to do Monday, though. What, what do you mean, Monday? Like, party on a Monday. I heard that. Even COVID year, when clubs started to bro, open back on up. Monday, Magic City. <laughs> you see how Magic blue? City on Monday forget wait, hookah bars wait never they close right, right <laughs> now hookah yeah. bars are telling Tuesday the Blue Flames bro they have they have roster they have things that they are doing daily right. weekly it's no more so you can compare I know Atlanta now you can compare Atlanta to like, like yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're, yeah. Bro, I think they they in New York yeah nobody get work yeah 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 G4 oh G4 uh -huh. yeah. Nobody get work for a long time. <laughs> boys, man. Boys, so just be linked up sports. Be linked up sports. But they're having fun. So it was different because I'm actually working for my money, bro. Right. Like You're I'm, not getting bro, it fast. I'm working 15 hour plus on mm -hmm. a daily. So it's like, bro, I'm burning this shit, bro. I'm I'm hanging out with people that's not working. I'm mm -hmm. hanging out. But, you know, they have money, but yeah, I'm but hanging. Yeah, don't but, work. Bro, <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm actually working for mine. But, you know, we're probably making around the right. same. But, bro, I'm physically you, working Your for body is taking the toll. They I just swear. Chill. We're <laughs> drinking every night, bro. I have to go stand the next day. So I was young. I was able to do it. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't really feel it as much. But I'm like, bro, I can't keep on, you know, I can't right. keep on doing this. Right. At, all. Yeah. at one point, I'll break down. Right. 
And bro, when that breakdown come, bro, you, <laughs> that shit, it could go different ways, man. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of. I I just now when I go to Atlanta, I just like go Calm see, vibes. I just go see family. He, he, he likes brunch now. Chilling yeah, now. Yeah, I like. <laughs> but I'm tired person now. I like day activities. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nighttime, bro. Just go on my sleep. Yeah. yeah. Like, bro. We, Fatherhood I, is I catching like, up I like with the lounge. Them. I like lounge That's better than yeah, clubs yeah, now. Because club. lounge, we can sit there. We can still talk. talk. You know, yeah. we can drink. Music yeah. is playing in the background. Yeah. Right. Or when you're in the club, Tight. everybody are shouting. Yeah. It's so dark. Vibes. You can't even, if you're sitting out there, I can't even hear what you are saying. <laughs> we are yelling at each other. That's why you just shake your head. You can't even see the But don't get it twisted. Once in a while, it's fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's fun. Special occasion. Big birthday. That's what I was about to say. But don't that shit every Celebrations. Weekend. Nah, yeah. bro. That's all. They different here in Kansas City, bro. Kansas City nightlife is working. Yeah, it's, 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 pick, it's I mean, picking bro, up, bro, though. Bro, has been in uh, ATO. Kansas bro, Kansas City life, bro, if you have travel, it's picking everywhere. up, though. Bro, if you don't travel, go everywhere. This nightlife is terrible, bro. It's terrible in the sense that it has potential. Where? There is potential because it's... One, see, one, okay, t- it's one on t- 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 everywhere have clues. That's the thing, though. That, that, but it's because of the the shootings and stuff. I mean, bro, the, but, I, they, they, but it's not a party place. Yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah they yeah. don't want it to be. They're really being <laughs> firm on that, though. <laughs> like, there's a group of people who bro, are taking over there. One thirty everywhere is closed. What time are you leaving the house? What time are you going to the club? Right, like ten o'clock. Twelve. Twelve. You did go set for. Yeah, but after yeah. you order one bottle. Before you order right, your other right, bottles, right. They have, they've turned the lights on. <laughs> Let's it's be real, though. Go. Let's Man, be real, man. though. It is very true. That's because right, because if, we're very be, if we're being very so honest. So to really enjoy your nights, you need to be there by 10. Nine safe. Yeah. Uh, nine safe. But if we're but being if honest. If you go at nine, there's no one there. There's no one there. But so, you want to enjoy your night, right? For sure. <laughs> That's why I say, because, ah, bro. It's be like. you have a section, though. I think it's because we're African, though. Because, Tali, our mindset, if we link up with the boys and the cousins, guy, pregame notice start till 10. I swear to you. Pregame are 10, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. we pregame it for an hour. So people <laughs> are showing too. up to the club at like midnight. Mm-hmm. And then they go pop at least three. And then two, three. Uh, and then we reach Bro, three. Uh, <laughs> before the first bottle will come. Ah! 12 30 don't reach. <laughs> After you reach them, before you, I said, bro, before you order all your drinks, finish, they're telling you you need to leave. No, right, you, right, can't right, take, right. you can't even, yeah, take, you can't even take, take the bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Man, so it's work, man. But I, I'd rather I, travel party and then come here. Party and yeah, when I'm here, I just like chill stuff, man. Yeah. 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 I like chill stuff. What, what's some of the chill things you do out here? Man, bro, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like I mean, if you if you have guys, you guys could just you know just like, do uh, like smart activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I With travel a lot. I travel a okay. lot, so I have so much fun when I travel. Mm-hmm. That when you're on the that road, that when I come here, I'm really like you know, right? I don't really need to. Yeah. Because if I go, I'm not having as much fun. Because mm. bro, if you don't party for Atlanta, New York, Dallas, yeah, Chicago, yeah. bro, Casey, Nigeria, Casey London. Bro, it. this man be playing. Bro, like, dude, it's like, what is it you asking for, different. bro? Lifestyle different. Nah, but for real though. But I, because we've been um, doing events and but stuff you here. You know what there. I think will make sense? What will make sense? An African club, man. One just opened. I was about to talk to Where you about it? it, but it's at the West Bottoms. It's, it's, not, it's not bad. But it's not entirely an African club. It'd be, it be Niger Boys we did it. It's a winery, but but then, then it's picking up into a you know, they don't they don't have hookah. So so this is the thing. In we, Casey, we, we have some stuff. We have some stuff coming up though. Okay. But in Casey, keep me updated, man. No, no, for bro, sure, for sure. I, I, I the, would the love show. something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. man. Yeah. It's really on, on tap. Okay, that's it's on thing. tap because so, there are a lot of Africans here. Hella, yeah. but the Africans here they travel so much that when they, they come don't back, want to party they're, here. they're cool. The, but I think if it's something that's presentable, right, 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 something that can match out of town, right, it doesn't even have to look as nice. Just the vibes. Have you been to level? I've been there. Now. I know the owner. Yeah, the guy. He's I know the cool. owner. So, very cool. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, one very of cool our guys guy. had an event. We, we talk there. a lot. Yeah. yeah. So they did the, What's the name? Juneteenth Dwight. Dwight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I play yeah. soccer with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he did cool the guy. Juneteenth joint. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, say he be Ghana boy. Mm-hmm. So he did the little Juneteenth joint. He got the hookah, got the vibes. You know. Yeah. But again, closing time. By no, one thirty lights they come on. No, the thing about levels, I I like the place because I like the owner. So if you guys are vibing, sometimes the guy will let you he'll let you guys yeah, vibe. Yeah, out. yeah. But, 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 but no, he to a point though. But by oh, two, you give your lease two or two thirty. 
I like that like they shit. come on. Though. That's because bro, that I like mean, it doesn't want to get. And the licenses, yeah, like license it's, it's like the Kansas, like Kansas City ones. stuff, the whole yeah. hookah and alcohol in the same space type. It's, it's of, weird, man. Yeah, it's kind of. It's weird. It's even like then they restrict your nightlife. Yeah, it's like, yeah. bro, I want both. I don't want to just be drinking, drinking, drinking. I want to balance my drink or something. If I just, if I just going. If we're just going shots for shots, shots, bro, <laughs> we'll be drunk. <laughs> so let me take one shot, smoke yeah, my own class small, yeah, and then vibes, yeah, I'll still talk, 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 then I'll drink on that one. But if we're just drinking, 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 ah, bro, we're we'll off. Mm -mm. We'll we we turn off. Smoke without uh, a drink is, is a shit. Yeah. That's what they're saying. But, ah. you know, I think, you know, I moved here 2006. Mm -hmm. Between 2006 to now, I've seen a lot of, a lot of change. So is it progress? It's, it's, it's a progress, but bro, mm. that shit might still take another 15 to 20 <laughs> years, bro. Because, bro, I'm talking, that's 18 years from yeah, 2006. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might happen, but right. I don't think I'll be here. Mm -hmm. I might not be here right then. I can't promise on that 20 right, years. Right, 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 right. Honestly, too. honestly, I haven't, like, even the, the time I've been here, I haven't really seen a group of people who, like, they're able to like tap into the different markets, you know, like bring the different mm -hmm. vibe here. Like, see, because you don't want to restrict it, it. you don't want to do yeah. just like African party. No, no, you want it, you, you, you lose. want you, you lose. lose. You, yeah, that's exactly. What are doing, and that's what everybody else. But is you doing. know, you know, you know, the crazy thing is like those big cities, like Atlanta and everywhere else. Um, the Americans, they're they're. They know about Africans, mm -hmm. cause bro, those in those cities, Atlanta, Atlanta or, or Houston or Dallas, the Nigerians, the Africans that are there, bro, they know about us. They have no choice but to know about us. Right. So even the girls, the girls know about our music. So when that shit is getting played in like American clubs, bro, they're vibing to yep, it. Yep. So th they have no choice. If you go to American club in those big cities, they play. It. They will play it. Yeah. Without the, you don't even have to ask the DJ. They will play it. Yeah. But here is different. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like, you might not hear it except it's like an African event. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because the Americans here, they're not hip to it. So. Or, or I picked up though because last Friday. It's called Geo now. No, no, be Geo Sefu. This last one wasn't even Geo. Well, it was Q. Q. Well, yeah, and but he's, Q. He's well, a Justin. Yeah, Q also. is a Justin, but yeah, it's yeah. like, but when the music come on, it's old ass Afro oh, beats, man. They might play <laughs> David Do Four. I don't want to hear that no more. Four, like, <laughs> I don't want to hear that no more, man. Like, bro, want to get some update. new stuff. <laughs> Update. So, but I don't know. I I, I see a lot of people true, are though. contributing to to like trying yeah. to you know get it to yeah, the yeah, next yeah. level. You know, it it, it needs. So the World Cup is coming, bro. But that's what I'm saying. So they bro. needed the club There's needed to be going. Like, but the thing like, is, bro, you know what's crazy? It's like people in Kansas City, like Americans, they don't know how big World Cup is about to be. Yet. They, I don't. That's facts. They don't know. They don't know but it's bigger than Super in Bowl. People in Kansas City don't really travel a lot, bro. They don't. So they know, don't know. They don't know that. how big this shit is, yeah. mm -hmm. bro. This is literally walk up in your backyard. Yes, literally. Like your backyard, <laughs> you can't come out of your house and, and go walk watch up friends going on down or the something. Street. Yeah. So they don't know, but I think when it get closer to time, they will feel yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah, if anybody take actions now, bro, Charlie, you you, you, you make money. Any any business then, because hmm. walk up is one month of yeah. My haircut's yeah. crazy. That whole month. <laughs> We're going up, man. I don't want anybody to just sit in my chair at all. Because ah. if I miss much, right, it's have to be worth it has my to be time. Worth the time. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Nah, so that that's if you are running any business, that's an opportunity for you, you to gotta eat run the prices at up. All. But that's when bro, the citizens. It's were... once in a lifetime, bro. Yeah, yeah. But walk ups every four years. What are the chances of walk up yeah, happening right, where, where you at? Where you at? That's yeah. fine. I don't think it will happen. Yeah, again. it's really. But Charlie, we because we've seen we never stuff. Experienced the World Cup before. But think about it. When we moved here, we got to experience the national championship because we True. won. Yeah. And the Chiefs go national back to championship. Back. That's, that's college yeah, basketball. College basketball. Yeah. Yeah. So we but got no, to that's experience every year activity though. You did Bob, but. I when mean, your school wins, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's rare it's big. to happen again. It's big. Really, Bob? Uh, I don't know if it's a, if it average out to walk up. Oh, no, 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 even that one stuff, it's not even like a win, like a championship, something. Yeah. Just the games alone. The games alone is big, bro. Bro, people but are I flying think, in. I think when Messi came to, that also kind of gave people a taste. A taste yeah. of yeah. a little bit. Yeah, like, taste, yeah. but no, I don't no think it's not World it's Cup. Not, yeah. Bro, World Cup, bro, do you know, like, bro, each country is moving with like 80,000 fans, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's true. So let me say, like, 
Brazil and France is playing. Bro, do you know how many people will be flooded? Cassis is never big enough. Mm-hmm. I don't even think they have enough hotels. As some people will be staying yeah, in price, Lawrence. Price go day some high. people will be staying in oh, yeah. uh, Springfield. Olenta, Overland yeah. Park. Some people will be yeah, staying yeah. anywhere yeah. just to be able Once to drive. Once it's like an hour drive, they'll do I don't it. even think it's enough restaurants. Right. For people that want to just eat during the day before. Hey, what is that parking going to look like, though? Hey, they, well, they need Kansas to close City that parking stadium. is already bad. Kansas bro. City parking is terrible. Like with so regular, imagine. regular stuff. No, but you know, anytime World Cup, anywhere they've played World Cup, mm-hmm. they do a lot of improvements. So honestly, I think between now and then, we'll see a lot. A lot yeah. will happen. Wait, with, how many? Is it next year? 2026. 26, yeah. yeah. So I think a lot will happen. They have two years to get ready, pretty much. A, a, a lot yeah. will happen. Mm-hmm. And it will, it will happen fast because, bro, it's a big event. They yeah, pump yeah. a lot of money right. into World Cup. They right. know how much they will make. Right. So right. it's only right. Charlie well, Casey. But we need we need, right. we need to open club before the, between now and then. But that'd be the at least thing. lounge somewhere where we, at least all the Africans feel. You see, this new spot This new spot just opened, which I like, but I heard it was 30 and up. It's called like elevation something yeah, yeah, yeah. that's my guy so so on why, why, 30 and up there why man bro you gotta think man the kids so so used to own the um he used to own the nine i heard which about was nine. um zero you know, zero nine yeah or so a lot a lot happened his i think he's more in the stage now where you know he just he wants a club Doesn't but he wants cool good. vibes yeah and and older people want to come out, but cool vibes. older people don't want to come out if it's gonna be mixed with twenty one years. Or so. yeah. You know, I feel him because I bro, you pump a lot of money into this place, and somebody could just come running Shoot for you. It up. So shit, thirty and up, that's cool, man. I could go watch game there. And, <laughs> man, I'm not thirty. I like but I, I would beg them. Yeah, like, let bro, me watch. I'm at least chill. I have sense. I'm I have thirty you mentality. See, just let me understand. Understand. Let me but understand. at least I know when I'm inside there, I'm safe. Right, you understand? right, I'm, right. I'm safe. They're not gonna I'm shoot good. it up. Yeah, yeah. bro, they, they have hookah there. Yeah, so, that's what I'm saying. So I saw it. I saw. I think um, if an Ashley. African throw an event in the bro. And that's what I'm saying. I think if African throw an event, he might accept, you know, younger But you see, the thing is that... a little bit different. Exactly. Yeah, the we'll get age. sense now. You see, Africans, they party classic. We'll yeah, sense, yeah, bro. They're all going to pull up with... Nobody yeah. want, bro. Person went to school, went to do doctor. Mm-hmm. Thinking wants to go and shoot you. No, no, no. no, no. I'm shocked. No, no, no. After, after all and those I, years I really, in college. I hate <laughs> talking about <laughs> comparing, comparing it. it. Yeah, but, yeah. bro, we have too much to lose. We know where we're from. Right. We... And bro, I'm a proud African, bro. Like, right, right. I, I talk shit, like, bro, because, <laughs> bro, like, we know what it would like with us. We see the sacrifice our parents, parents made, did right, to get so us where we are. We try to not, you know, be the bad, right, example, example. Yeah. And you know, your aunties and uncles are gonna talk. But if everybody, if one one phone call, you're fucked. You're messed. <laughs> so before they call you ain't on the call, kind of that call this, up. bro. You get in trouble yeah, from afar, yeah. so yeah, that's crazy. Like we we'll party, no matter how much we get drunk, we still have sense. Level headed, yeah. Sense, that's so. facts. That's, that's facts. why that's that's the difference between. And I don't, I hate to talk about Americans or even try to bring that down, but I don't even blame them because, right. bro, like the way we could see the struggle our parents went yeah. through, they're living in it. They can't see the struggle the slave people went mm-hmm. through because all they know is what they heard. Yeah, but they didn't yeah. see it physically, right. so it's different. Right. Because honestly, we see it. Like my son probably won't see the struggle that I. You know, he he will see a little bit of what my right. grandpa did, right. but his kid might not see it. It's, it's so a story. So I can't promise that generation. All I can do is just try, try to, your best. Try yeah, my best to feed right. in as much. Right. As, my kids will go to school in Nigeria. I'm oh, you said, at least two, that's why at least two like, or three years, right? Right. At least two or three years because it's some things that you I need them learn. to see that I might not be able to tell them or right. show them. Right. So right. I feel like two years, middle school, mm-hmm. it will sink a lot of sense. So high school, high school here or high school here, high school here. I need um I need scholarship now. <laughs> Basketball, football. Which one is this for? Uh, soccer, so football. Anyone. The tuition high. Anyone. The tuition anyone. high. As long as I don't right, have to right. come out of pockets Pocket. too right, much. Right, so, right, bro. Right, need right, a scholarship, right. bro. Right. But school's expensive, bro. <laughs> I know, I bro. Know, I know. They wiped out my student loan, bro. I was, I was happy. They wiped out everything. Everything. Joe, 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 Joe did ah, it. Too. Joe really did it, bro. Joe Tell did it. Too. So he not go wipe one yeah, out. He didn't do it, for, bro. I was surprised. <laughs> really? Forty grand, bro. Shit, that nigga. Wiped, he wiped everything up, bro. <laughs> so wait, does it balance with the credit score? Bro, it boosted my thing up, <laughs> like paid. Because it's pretty much looked like I paid it up. Right, right. But the school I went to got closed down. Okay. So, so did that help? 
I don't even know, bro. Because who this, are you paying the this tuition This was 2014 to? that I that I, I only did my I only did two years degree, right? And got my associate. Then, um, bro, when Joe got in office, a couple of years later, mm. he just sent me a letter say everything is gone. And I was surprised because you know that's what Joe Biden. Right. That's what he right. said, but. Don't get it twisted, though. I didn't vote. I'm not a Joe fan or anything. In next election, I'll go vote for Trump because Trump like money. Me, I like money. Well, <laughs> but, oh, uh, shit. He did what he said he was going to do, right, man. Right, and right, I'm, right. Uh, shit, I'm an example of it. Ah, Because, Tully, I'm so... Because tr- I know a lot of my boys... I like money. Yeah. Man. Man, Trump like money, too. So we have something. I know. I'm not going to say anything. But, but I see all my boys are saying... Uh, Joe hasn't wiped theirs off. Is there? Did you have to fill a form? Nah, bro. I th- it's, 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 I think it's random. That's what I'm saying. It's rare that I'm one of the people that actually got. I didn't wiped. even expect it, but mine got wiped off, bro. Hmm. Living testimony. <laughs> that's, that's not so, bro, I that, check my meal every day. And bro, that was the only Jeez. thing I was owing. So, man, I'm in this Right, right, I'm right, right. Like you, you free, good. Yeah. That's dope. That's Death dope. Free, so. so, what kind of kid were you like in high school? High school. So. It's crazy because I moved in middle school, right? Mm-hmm. And um, so it was different because coming from back home, you guys didn't go to school here, right? You didn't go to middle school or high school? No, 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 no. So, yeah, it's totally different. So back home, you know, you're in school, you're wearing uniform, mm-hmm. everybody has school, the same school yep, shoes on. So, right. you know, you're in school. The only way somebody would laugh at you is if you didn't iron your shirt. Right, right, or, right. If your shoe ripped. Tell you school, they, so, they found a way to make shoe. Yeah, so we're well, at school and everybody feel the same. Right. So when I came here, and, and you know, we're in Nigeria, so everybody's black. Mm-hmm. Like 99% right, is black. Right. So, you know, you're getting love from every black person. So when I moved here, I'm in a, I'm in a you know, we're in a low income area. Mm-hmm. My parents were in the poorest, but the area we stayed was not, you know, right, too right. much of the best. But, so the school is like majority black. So, I I have n- I've never experienced racism from a black person. Right. So I got to school and it was different, bro. Like yo, African booty scratcher, yo, yeah, African they kid. That for real? Nah, bro, that shit is real, bro. So Michael Blackson did lie. Bro, that shit is real. Like, bro, <laughs> it's a hundred percent real. Cause you know, like when we came here. My parents don't know what Nike is. Right. My parents don't know what Jordan they is. They buying you Walmart shoes. Went to Walmart, went to Pillars. So, Five you bucks. Know, you I get see to everybody go. wearing Air Force. I'm wearing Shaq because it looked close to it. Right. To me, it's the same thing. Right. But I got to school and got laughed at, bro. Like, bro, that shit was real. They different here. Nah, it's different. Yeah, they different. They're different. It's different. So that was me experiencing, like, I won't even call it bullying. Right, right, right. It's kind of like race, racist, but right, from right, right. my race. Right. So to me, it was like, yo. We all look the same. We all look the same. But, you know, compared to back home. We different. It's different because, shit, at school, it was getting love. It wasn't by, oh, you dressed the best. It was your personality. So here, it was totally different. So that was what made me, like, try to find ways to make money in school Mm. because... I was charging five dollars, but I'm stacking that up. I want right. to buy the coolest right, shoe, right, right, to fit just in. so when I get to school I could fit in, or right, just so right. I could sit down in the seats where the cool kids are, right. or when I get in the bus I could go sit in the back without right, right, right. somebody talking crap or anything. Right. So yeah, in middle school I was fighting a lot. Then um, high school, you know, when they cracked the jokes, I just start laughing at it. Like just eat. Yeah, I'm like, bro. Saying. Yeah, somebody say, oh, you have a, you then you had a lie in your back. I'm out telling him, yes, it was in my back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somebody say, oh, you came here in the boots. Yes, I did. Yeah, all right, cool. Well, whatever. Bro, yeah. Technically, I've been on a plane. Right. You haven't. That's the yeah. thing. Let's be real. That's the thing. I've been to Netherlands. You have not. Right. They don't travel here. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it's like when you you couldn't even use that as your defense back. back then because everybody yeah. would t- everybody would talk you. Got you. hundred against one. So the best I could do was just start laughing at it and just start embracing it. But yeah, with time I started, you know, I every money I got, I had to go buy something cool mm. just so when I get to school I could Except feel this. cool. And it's bad because that mentality you you have that mentality all through school, mm-hmm. and in your early twenties that shit still eats you up. Right. You want to still be cool. You right. want to still fit in. Right. Not until I got older, that's when I'm like, yeah, Yo, you know they what? It don't even matter anymore. You know, yeah, yeah. All that crap. Right, man. right, right. Yeah, what are you doing it for? Is it for you or for Is it for people? you or for everybody yep. else? So yep. When I got to that stage, I started really caring for myself more, mm-hmm. you know, family and all that. Right, so. right. 
Yeah, school here is torture, bro. Nah, I it's heard to- I, oh, it's I, torture. <laughs> like I wouldn't even put my kids in that type the of situation. Situation because I don't know if my if my if my son would be mentally as strong as I was. Mm. Cause but we used to that though, cause yeah. our cousins pick That's on what us. It was like, yeah, yeah, but it's kids. different, bro. Man, bro, this Why is, bro, the way they, bro. At least then you know, okay, it's my cousin. We're laughing, right, right, oh, bro, right. This is a stranger. This is somebody that you don't even know. I said, bro, the way your cousin pick on you, then if a stranger pick on you like that, it's, you feel like right. fighting. You, you want to get yeah, aggressive? So, yeah, yeah. You got in school every day feeling like fighting, bro. That's not yeah, it, bro. Yeah, you can't even learn at all. So that's why I said, bro, I try to put my kids in the best situation right, right, ever, right. bro, because. I don't want him to go right. through that. So, and then, you understand, like, they're asking you if you speak English, but bro, Nigeria is called nice by England. <laughs> My English is probably better than yours. Right. But I have a strong accent, so... It's not better. As soon as you are opinion, talking, yeah, somebody yeah. saying, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what the fuck, man? I funny. said the same thing that you said. <laughs> <laughs> so, did, you, uh, did you force yourself to, like, change your accent? No, nah, I had to, man. Okay. I had to. God, you want to talk to girl, yeah, girls. Yeah. The girl can't understand you, bro. So, <laughs> You're time, baby. Bro, you it's like, bro, this shit was frustrating. So <laughs> I had to find a balance. Right. I had to find a balance. But after, by by sophomore year, senior year, bro, I was I was cool. Mm-hmm. I fit in with everybody. Yeah. I could have convo with anybody. I could crack jokes with anybody. So that was what I had. I had to, like, fight. For my spot, right, right, in school. So this generation, and this is this is stuff that you can't even go home and tell your parents. No, no, parents no, 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 no. You say you want Nike to feel cool. Shit, it's girl, cool. Girl, girl, I got electricity business. bills to pay. Bro. <laughs> like, bro, I'm not worried about your so Nike. It's like, it, you can't. There's nobody right. to report to. No yeah. therapist. You, you have to really like figure it out right. yourself. Right, right. But it got to a point, man. I was playing soccer. Came to realize, man, soccer is not even a cool sport yeah, in my school. Yeah, yeah. But if I was in a different school in a different neighborhood, right. full with like you know white right. kids or anybody else, I would have still loved You'd playing been the my star. sport. Yeah. But it's like, bro, everybody wearing football jersey on Friday. If I wear my soccer jersey, nobody cares. <laughs> so by junior year, I'm like, man, forget soccer, yeah, man. I just, right, 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 I, want, right. I just want to be cool, man. I just want to fit in. I yeah. just want to. You know, sit in the lunchroom and right. talk shit. Like, you know, yeah, and be yeah, comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Right. But tell to me saying something, I'm gonna say, "Ah, the African guy yeah, is talking really again." <laughs> <laughs> like, bro. Nah, so yeah, it was rough, man. It was, it was rough. So yeah, it it, it made me stronger because mm-hmm. that probably that wasn't even the strongest challenge I went through in life. Right. But that was that was definitely one of them. Right. So, right. I feel like it built the character of who I am today. But it's kind of sad that kids these like this let me say two generations after like because we're all in our 20s mm-hmm. they're not going to get to experience that no nah, because you 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 won't stay in that type of neighborhood yeah so your kids won't go to that type of school it's kind of sad though because i want my son i want him to get on his I mean, ass a little bit i feel like even if they went nah, to you, school, you, you want, we when you have your kids you won't want that much torture in your not kids not too bro. much though but a yeah little but because it built it built they could get that back home because it could be good and bad yeah yeah, yeah. it could be good and it bad depends on how the kid and you don't know it. how your kid is gonna take it yeah. right because i could have one day be, be get so mad and i'm like yo i want to do something i want right. to hurt somebody right but I think I could control my anger, anger. Right, but right, right. I don't know if my kid can. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like I won't put them in those right, positions right, right, because right. I'd rather just be comfortable knowing that I might not get a phone call, knowing mm-hmm. that my kid did yeah. this or that. So, At this point, it's just the education. That's why I say like school back home is important because yep. if I show them school here, which is you know we stay in the suburbs, so right. a lot of a lot of time the people in the school is gonna be. Different race. Right. There are a lot of Africans where I stay. Right. So it would get some Africans there, but it won't be too it probably won't be too much black. Right. But when I when I take them to school back home, they see you know, it. they're around all black people. So right. I feel like that will average everything They'll else. Appreciate then one will come back probably private school. You know, for high you know school. he gonna get on you when you private, take him to Nigeria. Private, private school for high school, that's the goal. Yeah. So, you know, you know, you know yeah. he gonna get on you when you take him to Nigeria oh, for yeah. school. Nigeria school's different. I'll tell yeah. the teacher they can't flog him. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> they can't flog him, but you have right to flog him. <laughs> he because be honestly hot. as as back then we felt like man it was torture, but yeah, I but felt like helped. that that helped. Think, but yeah. isn't flogging like banned in 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 Ghana now Ghana it, it is, but I'm yeah. sure you can still find you, some schools yeah, that, yeah, they, that, that can because it, it helped it helped it helped because this is the thing 
you know that the teacher will flog you if you don't do your homework. You yeah. do your homework. So when you get home, yeah. you do your homework. True. Yeah. So it's like you are not even the smartest kid, but you're working. But you are working. working so when you work. come here, it's easy. easy. That's facts. Bro, I was surprised. I got to classroom. Math is easier. I got to classroom. Yeah. Students was cursing teacher. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you don't get in trouble. <laughs> like you can do that. <laughs> So I'm like, shit, How, did they, it's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> you, know what I, you, know, you know what I abused when we got, when I moved here, bro? In, my, in Ghana, you can't greet or wave someone with your left hand. No. So I moved here, right? And we were in class, my first college class. And then students like were just kind of like, you just budding. Like a teacher's talking, you just throw your answer yeah, out that's there. No, that's no... So, so you know back home, we take respect. Like, so serious, bro. So I hear, I'm like, hey, Charlie, you just, you just throw your answer in the air or lift your left hand or maybe you buy McDonald's and then you can use your left hand to take, take the, the food. Change, the food. They don't care, bro. Amer- <laughs> America, they don't... Bro. They don't care about all those The respect things. is mutual here. Right, right. Back home, if we see an older person, that's works, like, I, if I... An older person, I can't shake them with one hand. Right. I have to use two hands, yeah, and yeah. I gotta bend down yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I even still do that here. Yeah, somebody might not pay attention, but that's just how, you it's know. Back, back then, you. it was yeah. it was respect, but yeah, they don't care. Like, bro, a thirty year old is like a twenty year old, right? A forty year old that don't have sense is just like a fifteen years old. That's how America work. They don't care about right, right, right. age or anything. Right. So that's something you have to just get adapted right. to. So that's why I want my kids to, to go taste back. I want them to I want them to see that because yeah. bro, that's hard to teach. Right. I mean, you can teach as much as at home, but bro, if you have somebody that's working, bro, the school is taking some. It's, your kid is gonna spend more time in school than right than with you than at home. home. That's so, facts. That's facts. What they're learning in their surrounding is gonna teach them more than you can even teach right. them. But you know, what, you can try to discipline. What does wifey as as... think of all this though? Oh, my wife is open, bro. Okay. That's one thing I love about her. She's open to she's open to my ideas. Right. And she's open to work with whatever I think right. is right. Cause at some point she got to she re- gonna miss the kids. at some point she got to realize that, you know, it's better. Yeah. Like it's better back home. And I, I hate to even brag about Nigeria yeah, or yeah, Africa yeah. like that, yeah. but bro, shit, we're winning, bro. Yeah, that's we're facts. winning. Like, bro, look at anybody in their twenties. Right. We have our heads up. Like, yeah. we know what we want. Right. We know what we're going for. So, I want my kids to have, have that, that too. Yeah, yeah. Like, I want them to have that mentality right. of, you know, to know what's right. Right. So that's facts. She saw that between me and my brothers, my family, mm-hmm. and she compared that to. I won't really say her side, but she compared in that general. to where she's from. Yeah, and. You know, shit. You can anyway. Blind man, no, no. <laughs> you go see how you go see Blind out. man, no. Like, bro, <laughs> ah, if you see everybody in the left is winning, all <laughs> right, so everybody, bro, you'll go left now. That's fine. So, how do you feel about like, like these days, like the Africans, like you said, bro, mm-hmm. like Africans are on top right now. Yeah. You know, like people always want to have an African friend. Yeah, I love it, bro. Yeah. Because, bro, back then, like when I was in mm. school, like, dude, I feel like it's it makes it easier for an African in school yeah, now because. Yeah. Back then, cool it's kid. like you, you want to hide it. Right. You want to hide yeah. it. Right. So, but I was always the person because I had, like, my brothers were older. So I, I I was always bragging about where I'm from. But I used, I know some kids that were born here that when you ask them, like, where, where you are you from? from? They'll say, no, my dad is Nigerian, but I'm from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, if you ask them where you from, I'm they'll say Nigeria. Nigeria. That's facts. <laughs> they don't, they don't <laughs> That's even speak pigeon, no, but facts. they're telling you they're from Nigeria. Yeah. So yeah, I, I like I like it, man, because you know it make everybody like want to yeah. embrace More where proud. they're from yeah. too. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So yeah, no a lot of, from. We have a lot of friends like that. Oh, yeah. from Nigeria. They'll say they're but from I used to Nigeria, hate. I used to hate it. So you say, "Oh, my my dad is Nigerian, but I'm here. I'm from here. No, you're not from here. Not from here. Yeah, not from here. You're just born here. Just born, but you live. You're growing. I don't want my son to say that. That's why I feel you're like I need to put as to much culture there. as I right, can right, because, right, right. bro, I'll feel sad to just maybe he's talking to his friends on the phone and like, yo, my dad's Nigerian, but I'm American. <laughs> no, no, you're not, bro. No, you're not. Bro, your, you, your name is, oh, bro, your name is my name. What you are you talking about? Name. Right. Bro, your yeah. name is African. You have an African name. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. So you don't have, uh, my kids don't have any English name at all. Right, all right, their right. names is all. Like from eight, so what's your son's name? My son's name is Ailele. That's oh, okay, my name. Okay. So means, he's junior. Yeah, yeah, it means okay. don't follow what people say. Right, right, right. So my daughter's name is Adesua. Okay, okay. Middle of world. He made sure. No, no, bro, we're going all the way to the he roots. Sounds, yeah. He sounds like Pops. Yeah, no, we're going we, 
going all the way to the rest. My dad made sure. We were like asking, like, like, what's your English name? Even in Ghana, yeah, they will ask because in Ghana it's very common for families to name their kids like Joshua and yeah. But my dad, all of us except the last one, he gave. Each and every one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me and all, me and all my brothers, we have African names. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just want to keep the culture. Right, Hopefully, right, my kids could keep, keep it the on same too. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is, I give them that name just so that when they are somewhere far, and somebody from where I'm from hear the name. That's true. They That's would automatically smart. embrace them. That's smart. They would automatically be like, okay, you are from. They right. they can tell them where they are from without my son even having that to say, say anything. too much. Yeah. So yeah. that name represents a lot. Right. So even if let me say you apply for a job, let me right. say the manager is African Nigeria, or right. anything. When they see that name, they automatically yeah, looking they put at you it. Up higher. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, that's facts. And bro, it's, uh, honestly, like if I'm talking to anybody, I'll tell them, yo, I'm Nigerian. Just so you can look at me a little different, but like, like my absence. No, but, but I, I open, <laughs> I clear. Like, yeah, I'm saying that in the starting of almost all my conversations, yeah. just so you could know, right, like, right, bro, right. I'm not just a regular yeah. right, black person. Right, so, like, that's that's dope, man. Uh, the new club. You just opened a new club yeah, in, in Lagos, and, um, right? In Lagos, Lucky, yeah. Yeah, so it's your the way you just told us that you they like lounge style. Yeah, like, so that's it's, exactly it's, how you it's, see it's it. like it's a lounge, okay. but you know, night Lagos, they will turn everything to a club. So yeah, nighttime it turns right, to a club. Right. So yeah. Me and my me and my brothers, I have four brothers and my cousins, we all came together mm-hmm. and um because we've been to we've been to so I'm from Benin. Right. Benin is four hours away from Lagos. Oh, is that far? Yeah. Drive. Oh, okay. But 30 minutes flight. But, um, so we start going back to Nigeria mm. after we moved here. But when we go back to Nigeria, we stay in Lagos for the most part because, mm-hmm. you know, that's where it's popping. Yeah. Then we go to Benin for, like, family events, then right. come back to Lagos. So we're going out in Lagos. Lagos is getting expensive. We're right. spending money in all these clubs. So my oldest brother, my, my oldest brother is into real estate back home. Right. So he owns at least, like, over 10 properties. Mm. So... He called us one day like, bro, I think we should do something, bro. Like, let's open our own stuff. So, you know, when we come back home, we could, come home. Bro, we could yeah. spend our money in our, our place. Our own place, right. Yeah, and, um, you know, Lagos, overhead is not that much. Right. If you're comparing it to, America, for me to open yeah, something yeah. here like yeah. that, to cost me probably like three times more. Oof. So, we're like, bro, between all of us, we can all split it. And right. So, Make something happen. Yeah, so it was my oldest brother I did, and we all pitched in, and right. everybody followed up. But we all have connections in mm-hmm. Nigeria. Like, I have a strong connection yeah. in Nigeria. So my older brother have strong connections. So everybody just bring their ideas together. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's been running smooth, man. Yeah, it's running you, smooth. They, I'm sure when them checks come <laughs> in the mail, you're like, okay, it's, it's you know, nobody smooth. makes sense. And it's just like, bro, having something back home, man, you can't go wrong with right. that. That's facts. You cannot That's go facts. wrong with that to those. That's so. facts. So you like being a club owner? Um... I think if I did it in my early 20s, I would have loved it more. Yeah, you would have eaten but it up. But it's different, man. It's different because you're dealing with so many people, mm-hmm. dealing with so many personality. So I'm I'm a barber. Like, right. that's my full time. So I'm used to dealing with people one-on-one. Mm. So now you're dealing with, like, Ten. crowds. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's totally different. Right. And when we opened, you know, like, you go to a club, you get there probably, like, let me say, like, 10, 12 o'clock. Right. 3 o'clock, you're going home. Right. You enjoy three hours. So, bro, we're in there like 5 o'clock. 5 a.m.? Like five, no, 5 six, five seven. during the day, trying okay. to make sure everything is Set ready. Right, right, right. After that club closed at 4, we're still in there. Got to keep it. Cleaning up, counting. Close the tabs. So that was different, bro. Right. That was different, but, you know, I'm so used to, all right, club is over, let's go home. But now it's you have to be wearing, the, right, wearing right, right. the other part of it. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot. But my, yeah. my oldest brother, he's really, he poured more time into mm. it. So, he makes it a lot easier for us. Because I've seen it on IG. It looked good, man. Yeah, my it's older brother, my G. oldest brother, his name is Buzzle. He's, he used to be a DJ. Nah, so, he, he, he used to he stay in Kansas City. Up. That's him and Gio were very close. Oh, That's okay. how I know Gio. Oh, okay, So, he okay, moved okay, to Atlanta. Okay. Then now he does a lot of stuff back Got home. Got you. So, he's real close with DJ Spinner. Spinner right, right. was there. He's yep, real yep. close with DJ Obi. Yep. So, it's real. It's very connected. Right, so right, right. Is it makes it a lot easier. in the U.S. now? Spinner moved back and forth. Oh, yeah. Back okay. and forth. But him and my oldest brother, they're pretty, okay, pretty close. Spinner so. was at one of our events or pop up shops in Ghana. So oh, okay. That's yeah. lit. That's yeah. lit. Yeah. Yeah. Spinner's big, bro. Yeah. yeah. Spinner's yeah. big. I'll be right now, dude. <laughs> Taking off like at that. Yeah, like, so. You can't, some people now, you can't, they just keep elevating. Mm-hmm. He's one of those guys, you know. Yeah, but. It's very big. 
That's um the club. How 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 many years is, is it been a year now? No, we open in April. Okay, so it's oh, not even April, it's a new. couple months. Yeah, so we're ready oh. for we're getting ready for dirty December, bro. So you do you do oh, yeah, haven't even experienced that one yet. I don't I don't wanna I don't I don't even wanna do any more New Year in the States. In the States, yeah. It's boring, bro. Yeah. You know, but bro, dirty December is crazy, man. Yeah. You know how it but goes. that's how I actually I think this, I experienced like yeah. two Back to back. Yeah, don't worry. I took you have, you have more years. I went for I went for one in uh 2020. I took my girl back so she could also see yeah. see that kind of like mm -hmm. party from you know yeah so, sun rise till sundown yeah, type. Yeah. You know yeah. My wife went for the first time in December yeah. last year. So. But you still got to do Ghana though. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. You got to do Ghana. Definitely. My boy Chidi. He normally you know Chidi. Yeah. Um, I know he does the travel. He agency does the stuff. Discover, Discover, Discover Giddy, Chidi. Yeah, Giddy, so, yeah. Giddy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Chidi yeah. does a lot of stuff. So right, 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 one next right. is swing through Ghana. I'll come with. Okay. Him. Okay. Okay. I think he yeah, did yeah. one in Ghana. Like I think it was last year. I think that's where I see it. Yeah. I seen it. I seen his bro, stuff on, the, on, on lit, IG. Bro. Yeah, they be turning but, up. Yeah. He knows where to go. Nah, the guy, the guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But Ghana. The, this this year, so I'll try to do Ghana and Nigeria. Right, at least right. probably at least like one weekend in Ghana. Right. Just one of, the, one of the biggest clubs in Ghana moved to Atlanta about a couple What's months ago. Once ago, Bloom Bar. Hmm. I haven't heard of it. They closed their branch in Ghana. So they really so, shut it down. Yeah. They shut no it more in that's Ghana. That's insane yeah. though. Cause they were that club, oof, that line. It was. I mean, yeah. it was. It was the. It was the thing for about five years straight. Mm -hmm. But the thing about but clubs, Ghana, you gotta rebrand. Oh yeah, yeah, I was about to say Ace and them garage. Like, these clubs are taking over. Because bro, yeah. you, you're sometimes some people are just tired mm -hmm. of hearing. They're tired of hearing the name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's like, right. Like bro, you're going to such and such again, man. I'm tired of that place. Bridges. Sometimes I just close <laughs> it down. Act like somebody else bought it. And then switch the name. It up, yep. Switch the furniture and right. Make it open legit. it again. Because everybody want to go to grand openings. Yep. Everybody want to go to the new stuff. The new, so. the new spot. That's, that's so how new. long would you say a club needs to run with one identity before switching right, it shit. up? Probably, shit, probably two. Two, two years. years. Yeah. Except you're just catching a... a, a Two years, if you're slowing down, then yeah, probably you need to switch. But right. except you're just like it's, catching the heat, yeah. yeah, then bro, keep going until you feel right, like right, it's right, slowing right, down. Right, right. It's just like, but club is club life is different, bro. Yeah, it's different. So that's why I say, if I was younger, you would have been. Which I'm not. I'm not too more. much older, but like in my early twenties, right. I probably would have been more like talking right, about right. it. But my my older my older brother, he had more. More experienced because his friend owns Vanity, which is one of the biggest clubs in Lagos. Vanity, uh, they sound familiar. Vanity, so there's a Vanity in Atlanta yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wale owned that, so. Um, so is it the same? No, no, it's different. The mm. the one in Atlanta, Wale owned that, then the one in Nigeria, Uyi owned it. Okay. Well, Uyi is from Benin, so mm. he's closer to my oldest brother. So, um, my older brother is into the club life. Right, right, so. right, right, right. Man, I just focus on my haircut, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you seem like that's a simple, my, a simple man my, now. Nah, that's, no, the haircut is my luxury, bro. Like, haircuts have taken me to so many places. I've caught Davido's hair. Mm. I've caught Alamide's hair. I've gone on tour with Alamide. I've caught NFL players. I was just in Cali last week cutting Clyde for his wedding. Mm, I think I, you posted that. Yeah, yeah I yeah, cut yeah. Clyde for his wedding. So, haircut have taken me to so many places, so... Bro, uh, and this is something that I taught myself. It's an art. It's something I didn't go to school for. Right. Or, or, so yeah. So what's what's the lifestyle of uh, you know a high caliber barber like like you? a luxury barber? Right now you you're not you, you don't be you basic barber. Cali, like, so at this uh, point, package, give us give us a day to life. Myself, bro. <laughs> 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 package today today range. I text I, I say which kind of day? Say white gym. I say correct. I package you. Go if I package you. You want barber? Aesthetics. Aesthetics. That's facts. Bro, the industry is growing, bro. Yeah. Like, I came in, when I came in, it was kind of in the middle of the industry. So, I came in when, you know, haircuts were still like $15 yeah. and stuff. So, I was cutting the garage, charging $5. My guy, um, Ty, he came to the garage one day. This was in the process of when my parents were moving. And he's like, man, what are you going to do? Are you going to leave or? But I'm like, man, I don't know. Because I wasn't working in the shop. Right. I was in the garage. He's like my he he said one of his friends owned his shop called um Diamond Cuts, which is mm. on Trust. And he's like, come talk to the owner, it's real cool. So I went there, owner name is Phil. I was 18 at that time. And um he's like, bro, Phil Phil is one of the coolest owner you could work with. Right. And he was like, bro, take key. Starts tomorrow. And you can pay me whatever. 
out of whatever because me I'm, I'm used to being in my garage i'm not right, paying anybody, right, nobody so right. everything is coming to me but feels like yeah we could work you there you know even if it's 20 dollars a week 50 dollars a week whatever you can afford just right. let me know so to me that was like you know this is an older person it's bringing right. me in as a, right. like a big right. brother like an apprentice so, yeah so i'm like okay let me try it out so i went there i started there and bef- before then it's a guy in um, Minnesota mm. called Akim Akwe. He's from Sudan, South Sudan. I met him on What Star Hip Hop. He did a um, he did because I was drunk at that moment. Right. He did a uh, Allen Iverson. Mm. He did a picture of Allen Iverson in somebody's head, and it went viral on What Star Hip Hop. So I took his his name, went on Twitter, started messaging him because you know he's African. So right, right. You don't see too many African mm-hmm. barbers worst, at that. At you don't see too. too many African right. barbers at all because if you think about it. Well, Africa, Africa, I'm going to school for doctor, engineering, right, everything right, else. Right, right, right. So I'm like, his African barber is cool. This older guy. So I hit him up, and he was responding. So I started talking to him more. So he was kind of like a mentor at that mm. moment. So he was opening his first shop in Minnesota. So I'm like, man, I need to go, gotta go, I need to go meet him, bro. Oh, but I'm, I'm broke as shit. <laughs> I'm broke as shit. So I, I got on Graham. Bought a ticket for like, I think it was like $20. Right. Got on a Graham. You know Graham, Yeah, man. yeah, the bus. It's full with a whole bunch of Everybody did go, cool, yeah. Everybody. Charlie. But I'm like, man, I got to meet a Kim, bro. Sat in the back, slept, got there. And um, a Kim showed me the different life of Barber, man. He was driving a Maserati at the moment, opening a shop, cutting a lot of athletes from the Timberwolves and everybody. So that's when I really saw that, you know, as a barber, you could go far. Like you could make bread. Yeah. So, you know, he's showing me like, bro, you can make 10 Gs a, a month. So that's what I needed to see. Mm. So when I saw that and came back, I'm like, yo, it's time to work. So that's when I started like. Price went up. <laughs> price didn't even go up. Okay. I was just working hella, seven days a week. How many heads a day? Bro, I was probably doing, at 18, Kiji Nut. I was bringing in probably like twenty five hundred a week. Wow, I see why you was just that's going ten to G's a month. <laughs> that's ten G's a month at yeah. eighteen. So my income was stupid, but I was a workaholic. I'm in the shop at five o'clock to probably like midnight. Yeah, like you make whoever your call, whoever is calling me, I'm there. Then after my parents move, I end up moving to an apartment probably like three minutes away from the shop. Yeah. So I was on call. If you need me, I'm there, and I'm not even charging extra. But bro. The more people I can cut, the more money is coming in. Make, so yep. That's what I saw Akim doing. Right. But Akim prices was a little bit higher, but he was working. Right. Like he was right. really working for it. So um, I took that around with it, man. So I was on trips working with Phil. And Phil was a, he was an open person. He gave me like, a, like, bro, you could work. And never really got jealous of me Your growing, growing or anything. Because, right. bro, I had a line in that shop. I wasn't doing an appointment at that moment. If you come in, it's probably like six, seven people waiting on me. They didn't want the other barbers in the they shop. They didn't want anybody there waiting on me. But after a while, the shop started booming. Mm. Everybody, I switched. When I came in, Phil had some people in the shop that yeah. was working in there. But I'm like, bro, Phil. First, the the price on the thing was <laughs> says $17. Right. So I'm coming from the shop. I'm trying to charge 20 So if I'm giving my clients, my clients give me 20 They want $3 back. Right, right. I'm like, bro, Phil, let's take that sign up. Right. And everybody just charge what they want. Right. So then anybody could charge what they want. So right. if somebody come in, if I tell you 30, it's 30. It's 30, Because right. you don't see any sign right. 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 on the wall. So we cleaned the shop out, brought some fresh barbers, young barbers that's willing to learn. So now we're all on the same level. Right. So, bro, every, the whole shop is jumping. <sighs> everybody in the city knew about Diamond Cuts. It was the hottest shop in the city. Right. So I had, it was a girl right beside me, Sabri, Sleepy, Phil. So the whole shop was booming. Everybody going crazy. Yeah, so I did that for about four years. And I'm like, okay, it's cool. I'm in the hood. My clientele is switching up. Mm -hmm. So before that, the guy that tied, that told me to come talk to his his friend that owned Mm -hmm. the shop. He owned a tattoo shop right next door. So um, one day I had a break. I just went to the tattoo shop. He was doing uh, one of the Chiefs players called Sean Smith Yeah. at the moment. I didn't watch football at that time. Right. Cause you know, I watch was soccer. Soccer, yeah. Never really Boss had in, room, never dream. really had interest to to football. So I went to the tattoo shop and he was doing this football player. I didn't even know who dude was. Right. But the guy, his name was Sean Smith. Very cool guy. 
And he's like, man, he just moved to KC. He cut his own hair. So Ty was like, yo, go check my boy out next right, door. put you on. So he came next door. I cut him up. He liked it. He brought his son the next day. His son, then that's when people used to get a lot of designs in their yeah. hair. So that's when, I don't know if you remember when everybody was getting feather. It was a feather. Okay. Everybody was getting feather in their hair. Oh, the line? Yeah. Okay. With the... So, yeah, okay. so oh, yeah, um, yeah, his yeah. son liked that. So he brought his son. I did it. They start coming every week. This was a Chiefs player. So, you know, I'm like, man, How this, you charge this guy is sitting in my chair every week. Right. I don't really have conversations to, like, network. Know, I don't have how to relate. So I start watching the Chiefs. Mm. So I can at least talk about football. Right, right. Like, I know what's going on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he started coming every week. Then that's when he started, you know, sending some more people from mm. the Chiefs. So slowly, every year, the name get bigger in right. the locker room. Then so new people come in, they, they hit me up. So. That's how I built the relationship with some of the Chiefs right, players. Right. So that was Ty. Ty did that. Then after a while, shout four, out Ty, man. No, no, Ty, yes, Ty, 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 too good, bro. That guy's good. So um, after four years, I'm like, man, uh, my clientele is getting big, but I'm in the middle of the hood. They're not gonna keep coming here. It's like they're coming, bro. You know, I want to, I want to give them something more yeah, classy. Yeah. So that's when I moved to 85th. I was in 85th for a little bit. And um, it's a cool shop. That's when I, um, I don't know, you know Maury, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he so worked with you. Maury's my dog. Mm -hmm. I've been cutting Maury here since he was like 13 years old. That's crazy. He was a kid. <laughs> I was a kid too, but he was a kid. Right. So Maury, so Maury was always coming along. He was always coming around. And um, when he was about to graduate high school, he was like, man, I don't know what to do. I'm like, bro, Maury, just go to barber school. After school, come. Then just keep watching. So he went to barber school, graduated, but every day he was coming to the shop. He was watching me cut. So it's kind of like a mental thing. Yeah, yeah. So the same thing Akim did to, to me. you, you did to him. I'm yeah. doing it to him because it's somebody that I know that's willing to learn. So he just kept coming around, coming around, coming around every day. So he started cutting. Like he started yeah. getting better. Then when he moved to, when I moved to 80, when he moved to 85th, and I was still on truce. That was the first shop that he was working at. I'm like, yo, I'm going to come join you just so we could grow this thing together. So got there. It was all good vibe. I'm with my young young bro. Yep. Then Ryan came in. And um, it was a young shop, man. And these are all my guys. These are all right. people that, that you I know. tag along mm -hmm. with. These are like one of the hottest people in the city at that at that moment. So... um. So we was running it up, man. We was running, we was, bro, made crazy income. Then got to a point, you know, three years later, I'm like, okay, I want something more chill. I don't want to be in the shop anymore. It's too yeah. many people. Like, right. I have, now nah, I have real professional clients, like clients that's, you know, sitting yeah. on millions and, and I want to be able to talk to them. And I just feel like shop wasn't the, best place to interact with them because right, right. you know some people they don't want to talk because right. too many people is listening mm -hmm. so that's when i moved to a private suite and that's that's where you're at yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's me one-on-one -on -one with my client and yeah. we could really like yeah, talk yeah, yeah. about business we could talk about anything right so it's a lot more i like it that way i yeah. like it that way so more more um at first i was doing it by myself and more is like bro she going i'm, I'm, I'm with she, you I'm, yeah. so I'm like more come on at first, he was, he was kind of nervous. Because he was making money. He was nervous because he doesn't know that was his first transition. But right. I already broke that fear with, like, wherever I moved to. You succeed. I could along. succeed. Yeah. yeah. Like, I just have to, you know, trust myself. So I had to convince him, like, yo, come on. Trust me. Like, bro, we're we going to make this we, bread. We could do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And, bro, that's probably one of the best decisions we ever made, bro. So as soon as we moved, we're in a private space, luxury. Bro, our clients love it. Yeah. It's bro, a vibe. I remember bro, going over there. Yeah, yeah. Big, bro, you don't know who's sitting in the chair, bro. Like, I have a client that own a whole apartment complex right. on Metcalf. This is a millionaire. Stay right. three houses down from Patrick Mahomes. So, I didn't want to put him in a position where, you know, I'm cutting in the hood. You yeah, know, he's, he's going to the come car. Down. Right. He's looking left and right. So, you know, <laughs> after a while, it's like, no, for real, Because me, myself, if I'm just a regular client, I'm like, bro, this guy's good. But, man, I'm right. risking myself just yeah. right, right. not to downplay any any location. Right. You know? I felt like that was good when I was younger. Cause right. 
You got to start somewhere. It was fun. Somewhere. It was fun. Yeah, As yeah. a kid, you know, you're not really taking your life serious. That's yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. Just having fun. But the older I got, start having kids, you know, sometimes I want to have my kids at the shop. So I want it to be a safe. safer place <laughs> yeah. for my kids. You right. understand? So, yeah, so that's how the whole Barbara Johnny just kept, okay. so kept wait, going, wait. man. It's been a process, though. A client wants you, right? Uh -huh. You're in California. So yeah. they cover your flight, everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need a and grand. Do you charge more when you travel? I need a he thousand. need a thousand. A thousand a cut. Yeah. Well, he has to get there. Because the thing is, bro. No, a thousand for the cut or a thousand for everything? No, hell no, bro. You know how more flights is. Flights I started buying flights, to car, hotel, rent a car. Yeah, bro, the yeah. money is gone. It's gone. Because, yeah. bro, gone. Yeah. you're really taking me out of my comfort zone. I could stand in the shop and make that in a couple of hours. Yeah, and you want me to fly? So, if you... And honestly, I might even tell you an extremely high price. Just say so you would tell me no. no. Yeah. But if you are willing to pay that, I'm coming. But I might say like extreme high yeah. price. Yeah, I really, I really coming. don't like it. Like to do that. But I will if it's right. Right. So right. I'll do it if if our relationship is right. Then yeah. 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 Like I went on tour with Alami Day, bro. This was like 2017. Yeah. My experience, man. You know Alami Day now. Right? Uh, yeah, uh, right, this okay. question you did, I right. said, <laughs> bro. My experience, but I met Alami Day true when I was drawing. Cause I used to draw. Oh, okay. I used to draw. So um, I did an artwork, took it to Nigeria, sent it to him on Instagram. This is like back in 2016. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yo, pull up. I took the artwork to him. A lot of me, they gave me some crazy amount. I can't even speak on them. Yeah, well, I know bro, you. <laughs> it gave me some crazy amount that I wasn't even expecting. And after that, bro, that shit was all love. Then a couple months later, it hit me up. He's like, bro, I'm dropping an album. I want you to do the cover. <sighs> I want you to draw the cover. Street OT, you can look it up. I drew that cover, that album cover, from scratch. That's what's up. That's dope. You're, not, you're not putting this down there. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. nah, bro. You can look it up. It's on iTunes, anything. Street OT cover, I did it. I drew it from scratch. Then a couple months later, it's like, yo, I'm going on a US tour. Come with me. Bro, I went to New York. Dallas, Lifestyle. Atlanta, everywhere. But I'm cutting everybody's yeah, yeah, hair as yeah, we're yeah. going. But that shit was fun, bro. Yeah. So that's why I'm like, bro, haircut of. Take so you a lot the of artwork places. opened that door, then it so it all the, connected. Yeah, the, the haircut kept the relationship right. like sustaining. Right. Right. Even right. till today, we chat. Man, right. I like chat. Allah right. is one of the realest person. Tell me for bringing on come Casey, we could do some concert. Ola, Casey, <laughs> audience deal. No, the last concert they did this in Kansas City like was <laughs> no. The last concert they did in Kansas City was Iyanya. This was um I think. 2000, like 2017, but that yeah, shit was empty, yeah. bro. I went with him because I know I knew his um, manager. Who was the promoter, moment. though? Bro, that shit was whack. That's it what was, I'm saying. Bro, who nobody was, the promoter? was there. Was nobody was there. Bro. Iyanya was popping at the moment. So it's like, so let me just just name like a big artist right now. Burner. Burner Boy. How much do you think Burner Boy wants? Right, right now, 500k. Yeah, you yeah, like, 500 500K. Do you yeah. think you make that in Kansas City? Well, definitely not. <laughs> He's not making that in KC. <laughs> no, I'm saying, do you think as a promoter you will make it? You will make your money no. back. You yeah, so you lose. Shit. So who even wants if to? You bring all the who wants to out, lose? Like you're not make we not even on Lamy. How about we go down? Ola is too big. Ola is big. Too big. Ola is big. How about we go? Like who? Uh, they, they can't talk Mr. Easy, but Mr. Easy safe cry right now. He he's got money he, now. He's got so, money now so, yeah, I got fifty. If you yeah. can, he might just tell you no. No, <laughs> straight <laughs> up, I'm not coming. Yeah. I'm trying to think of a, a, an artist. Bro, who, everybody's charging crazy mm, amount right now because they're making that in New Remar, York. They're and, making it in everywhere. Texas. Else. Yeah, I want to say Redma. 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 Ah, bro, it'll stop. But Redma is charging <laughs> them dividend yeah, price, bro. Yeah. Yes, it's that big. Yes, bro. Rema bro, was Rema. more at some point internationally. Rema was more recognized. Bro, Rema than Rema the biggest, at some point, he had the most the views on YouTube. Yeah, from Afrobeat. Rema, Rema, Rema is huge, huh? Biggest Nigerian artist. He's not the biggest Nigerian artist. He's not the biggest, artist. but he had the most but yeah. views. That one song okay. he did with bro, Selena Gomez song alone, is Golden India, wherever that is <laughs> all over. Bro. You already know now. So it's like. I don't really know anybody that would charge you less than twenty. I know a lot of Ghanaian Star. artists that would Ira charge. Ira Star. A lot of Ghanaian artists that would charge Ira, you twenty thousand. Yeah, Star. Star, yeah. Star won't be bad though. <laughs> yeah, she could do KC. She could do KC. Yeah, she could do KC. Uh, yeah. She's how not much, too how much expensive. You think, oh, probably like thirty. Yeah, she'll do it. Ira, you think you would make it? What? Oh, you make thirty. Yeah. You can make well, thirty, Casey. You, you can make thirty. You can make thirty for yeah. sure easily. What venue? Mind you, I was about, just I was going to. I was about to say we're not talking T-Mobile. We're probably talking like no, no, we're probably talking like um, 
What's the name of this? Uh, it's like a theater where Polo G Uptown? came to. Uptown, yeah. price Uptown? something like that. You yeah. make that. Things issue. enough for Africans that will come out for air? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll go to that, man. I'll go. But that's, it, it, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, you don't even you, know her. You don't like want that, it. You don't no, want I know it. Bro. Bro. No, 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 I'm saying, even those who don't even listen to her like that. Yeah, they want to She has hits, though. But I'm saying, I wouldn't go bigger than Uptown because I'm trying to make sure I make my money. If you go bigger than Uptown, you'd be paying big prices. You'd buy. But you have to be high on somebody else, though. I don't think just. You don't think Harry's in LA. Yeah, Omale. Probably here. No, yeah. Omale said, crying out, he did die down small. No, they would sell them. Omale would sell them. Yeah. Americans love Omale, bro. Really? Because that Omale music comes, is calm, yeah. bro. Mm-hmm. So he comes calm. to the U.S., he's doing like college tours. Yeah. Like, so but that, that. both of them, I don't know. That guy fit tell you like 60 kids. Nah, 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 no, 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 no. Omale. Not in the like, U.S. Bro, Maybe in Europe. Bro. If you tell him, say, yeah, right yeah. now, say he go give him 40, he go collect him. He will take 40. He might. He might. He might. Yeah. But it's, bro, the, the industry is just, everybody just money hungry They now, just a throw price for L. And if you, you got to think, think all these politicians, politicians are paying, paying them. them. Yeah, that's right. Politicians are paying them on losing. They don't care. They just want the entertainment. <laughs> they just want, they just want the there. entertainment. Yeah, that's right. So facts. it's like, when you're getting that type of right money, it's like, bro. Right, right, right. That's facts. But hey, low-key, low-key, I mean, Omale... I'm trying to, because I'm thinking Kansas City, like Afrobeat artists. We need something, though. I'm not we do. Lie. And I would probably, like, invest, too. Because if, if, if everybody's down, everybody's on the same page, I would, I would risk something. Just this kind, you see, a mission, mission like this. We for do research, no, because, no, never, never, because we for know how many Africans <laughs> first off they can here. I have a, I have a client that's Nigerian, and he was like, bro. Let's just open something. I just need five people. Because honestly, like, 100K will open something. Oh, nice. facts, facts. Five people, 20 yeah, each. Yeah, Bro, I think it's doable. You it's just have possible. to find people yeah. that are willing, willing to, to go to, with it. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, promote it. Right, but right. I think, it doesn't even have to be a club. Just a lounge. Like, vibes. Just a lounge. Yeah. BYOB, bring your own drink, yeah. hookah. But that's what uh, the... Nice TV. That's what the uh, Oak is doing. Yeah, yeah. Oak, uh, I've yeah. never been there, but... Come, I, you should I, come. I saw videos. You come. It looked we good. We, 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 that's this what girl, we do one girl, that's like, no, she's one of the um, waitress there, Zakir. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah. her. She she's said Mari was her cousin. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said Mari was her cousin. But the thing about her, she stayed in Atlanta for a while, so she knew how to... She knew how that thing ran. Yeah, because we... That's what we were doing. I'm a piano and pop. But we're moving on my piano yeah. puffs. We got a new look. That's why I said off camera. Okay. It'll catch you up, G. Let me invite you. Ah, that's for the potential. Yeah, potential deal. There's a lot of challenge, challenge, challenge. On tap. There's hooker there, right? We're taking our hooker there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we, we that's Oak. Um, I keep forgetting bro's name, but the owner... Mm-hmm. He's already giving green lights. He said, okay. Chale, what you pull one do me, I won't do. Yeah. He's from Ivory Coast. So okay. that's right next to Ghana. So yeah, nice. of that vibe. Family, family. You know, and the market, the market is already there. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, ah, bring a hookah How's concept. the scenery though? It's bro, it's vibes. Okay. It's, it's, it's different. Let me know when next first, you guys are going out. Oh, the first I'm a piano different. and puffs was nuts. The second one was slow. How often do third, you guys do it? We do we're trying to do it every other every other month. Every That's other what we're month. To do. But then the first one we had was last year, and then the second one was actually this year. And the two third one ago. was literally two weeks after the second one. And then yeah. the third one was like oh, everybody back. They remembered the vibe. Mm-hmm. And then the fourth one is what we're about to drop, and we're doing that in August. Okay. Now that venue. Ali so you said you said every two months or yes. every month That's every two months the plan the plan is every two months so yeah. January then off then March every other okay. yeah. so you guys do like do you have like early in the month or I think you guys probably later. do like it's usually later in the month but you guys probably do like first see I do it on Friday right or Saturday Fridays Fridays first Friday first Friday, man. Fridays, just do it on yeah. First Friday. yeah. First well, Friday, first Friday is a thing in Africans Kansas City are, too. Yeah. yeah, they'll come out. They'll come. There's they'll a lot of Africans too who are doing like because uh, you you heard of the Crown people. No, the Crown okay. Casey. I see them. They trying to but also bring out my piano. Yeah, but I try to stay out the way as much as possible. You. <laughs> but I mean, I know you guys. So they try to get right. more like uh, higher caliber mm-hmm. guests. Because that's yeah, you don't you yeah. you want to keep the classy. Yeah, that's yeah. What they're so doing. that's what they're they're doing for sure. It's more like. People like business owners, like right. Stuff no, but like I, I like like you said, the market is there. It's there. It's just you it have just to have tap to, it right. It have to be promoted right, and yeah. just have to be branded right. That's all. Tell it you. This spot. We are hyping this spot, so I can't wait to see it. Because it's our brand. So mm-hmm. and when it comes to branding, I feel like we do a very good. Yeah, job. Yeah, no, definitely, they, they definitely packaging it very yeah. well. Yeah. So. We really believe in it. That's the thing. Sometimes all our boys will tell us, "You boy, you be crazy, yo. But it's like, if we don't do it, who do it? Yeah, that's the definitely. thing. I can't oh, yeah, complain just, if I'm not doing anything. The thing about is, it. if you're doing it, just 
promote like a month in advance. Yeah, facts. or probably earlier than that. Right. Then um, reach out to people. Yeah. Because what somebody can say is no. Right. Like if I didn't come here, you probably, I probably won't hear. But right. but yeah, just reach out to people that you know. Then they can reach out to more people. Right. Then just put people on the flyers, man. Facts. Find somebody that's their birthday, such and such doing their birthday here. Then bring crowd. There you go. Crowd go pull for yeah. sure. But I want to ask this before we even wrap up. Mm-hmm. What's the most expensive haircut you've you've cut? A thousand. A thousand. Yeah. How long did the haircut session last? Uh, not long. Do you try to prolong it because it's a I mean, thousand? Not or? really. <laughs> like, I mean, like, you know, but you like honestly. One. Uh, what can I do? I can really finish the haircut in thirty minutes. Right. But I might stretch this by like right, 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 fifty, right. maybe one hour just to right. cause I talk. Like yeah, if you yeah. pay me a thousand, bro, we're we gonna have yeah, a yeah, conversation. Yeah. So the yeah. experience is gonna be different. But I can't there's nothing I can do for over one hour, bro. Like bro, <laughs> after I've cut everything finished. <laughs> you go That's like, you go go it. Out dry, bro. <laughs> so there's really nothing yeah, else yeah, I can yeah. be I can and do. And what's the you know, it's been trying to I, you funny enough, I was gonna ask you this, uh-huh. but you even posted it on your story. You know the little smoke gun thing? Yeah, the that spice barbers bar, are now spice always, bar, yeah. always spraying so on the that's, head. That's crazy, man. Sly. You know Sly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Sly. Yeah, Sly, yeah. Sly is my dog. Sly, he's from KC too, yeah, right? Yeah, from KC. Sly was young. Like, you remember the girl I said was cutting next to me, mm-hmm. Yeah, so she don't Sly, Sly is her little brother. Oh. So when that shop was booming, Sly was always around us. Okay. So Sly, Sly was always around us. That's when he started cutting. Then Sly took the markets to a whole nother level. Mm. He guy. made, he made, Social media, he have like one point five yeah, yeah. million followers. So he took, seen his he took, he took, he yeah, took, he big. took barbering and added comedy, comedy, to it, which with no, the little voice over nobody have done, yeah. nobody have done. Over me, I was oh, updated. That, okay, yeah. yeah, and I, I put like the guy. thing on oh, his okay, face. Yeah, over yeah, me, yeah, I was updated on, you know, Instagram, social media, yeah, but not like that. when I was, you know, like a little bit younger. Right. The older I got, I kind of fell off, right. fell off it because my clientele was where I wanted to be. But I still, you know, put updates every now and then. But now nah, he took it to a whole nother level. Like he added comedy to yeah. it. Yeah. He was posting every day. Right. More consistent than any other barber that right. I could know. As in as of social media wise. Because honestly, I don't think anybody's more consistent than me. I'm I work 24-7. Right. So but on social media, yeah, he was active. So um the spice ball is really yeah. just you know the same alcohol that will wipe. On you would. That one where they bang your Yeah, head. so just pour it in a gun and, and then same thing. They just, just turn, they turn out to the gun. vibes. Yeah, so <laughs> but he made it so cool. Yeah. I bought one yesterday. I see it. I, I mean I want to drink. Because it got to a point that I have kid clients in my chair. They're right. like, yo, you're gonna hit and me with the spice ball. It's lighting up for something. No, I haven't used it yet, but my clients, I'm my asking. kid clients start asking. Cause where's know, the spice ball? They are watching it on YouTube. Right. They are watching Slice. Slice saying it's giving this person spice ball. Ah, they want me to have spice ball too. But so me, you order your own. me, I'm acting like um <laughs> 30 years old when I'm still in my 20s. <laughs> I'm like, ah, man, I need Spice, spice Ball too now. So. Ah, cool. Yeah, shout out to Sly, man. Sly, Sly changed the game. That's to tough, level. man. He's moving to Atlanta and, um, bro, he's about to even get bigger, bro. That's tough. That's good for about him, to get man. Bigger. I just like the way y'all all support each other. Nah, nah, that's know. one thing about me. Anything I did, even like with Maury and anybody, I don't even brag about it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a stuff, I'm a good person yeah. and I know that. I don't even need anybody to tell me. So it's just, if I feel like you are somebody that's appreciative, mm-hmm. I will help as much as I right, can. Right. So we all help each other. Right. And as these guys were growing more sly, they they're helping us too. Mm-hmm. Cause shit, I'm getting kind of older in the game, and right. they some keeping stuff you that I can't <laughs> keep up with. Spice ball. So they're keeping me young, right, like right, me. Right, I'm right. still using alcohol and just yeah, still wiping it on everybody. So. <laughs> If they didn't start doing it, I probably won't even think mm. about it. So that could right. me young. Then Ryan, Ryan is another of my guy. Ryan just opened a suite, some suites in um down in the city. Mm. So yeah, he's doing great, man. That's that's that's, dope, another, that's man. another one of the biggest. So the biggest barbers in KC. Hate yeah. to brag, but bro, bro, we're tight, man. That's we're dope. Tight. That's dope. That's and uh, dope. shout out to the OGs because I grew up around the OGs. I got people like Joey Cuts. Yeah feel like these are people that yeah. uh when i came in i was one of the youngest and they brought me in they taught me a lot so i'm just trying to do as much as um as much as those that they as much as what they did for, for me you for I'm others. trying to do it to right, right. others too and right. uh, and it's just 
the industry is getting bigger, man. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, bro, yeah. trust me, the young people are killing more than old people, man. <laughs> the, the, youth, like, bro, the youth is wild, bro, man. Youth, bro, they, bro, people are 20 years old making money yeah. that 40 year olds is not even right. making. So, yeah, what's, bro, Sly. But Sly is killing weekly. Like, if you check his Instagram, I see. I, I hate see to even post. say, I don't even want to say his numbers on here. But check his Instagram, man, yeah. bro. He will show you like what he makes of yeah. social media in a week, bro. This shit is insane. Wow. Like, bro, I feel like I'm walking too hard. Like, I could really just sit in my house and just be posting yeah. and, bro, make like 10 Gs. <laughs> work, work smart, not hard. Bro, but, you know, African mentality. Yeah. Even if I make 10 Gs in a week of social media, still I'll still work, work hard. That's I'll still facts. Work hard. That's facts. If you give me 500 k today, I'll still be at the shop at 5 a.m. That's tomorrow. facts. Just, but what am just, I doing? I yeah. want to just sleep there. No, I'm still young, yeah. man. I'm active. So you can't work no more, I feel like. Yeah, just... I mean, at least, bro, just do it while you can. Right. Yeah. So, bro, if you have that much free time to yourself, you probably start doing some dumb right. shit. Right. Or you probably start spending, you right. know, start picking up more bad habits. Right. So. Right. Yeah, so, I, bro, I keep going, man. Like, yeah, bro, that's good, man. 4 a.m. on Friday, I'm in there. But early in the morning like that, I'm only cutting, like, my regular clients, right, my right. high-end clients. Right. And, you know, people that take care right. of me. So. Right. Yeah, it's love, man. So that's dope, man. Person I'm called a... me at 3 a.m. Say I have $200. I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. You didn't hear price. Y'all heard that anything. price. On Sunday, you day. need me. $250. i will be there. Shop. $250 on Sunday. Yeah, because I'm leaving my kids, bro. Yeah. I'm leaving my kids. That man, and I'm a family man now. Yeah. yeah. So it got to be worth yeah, it. Yeah, right, right, right. right. But you know, Sunday. people, bro, people, people, people pay for anything. Ah, there's markets. Wants, there's the market. Somebody that's going to the club to go, go to a strip club to go spend. Thousand. So go spend ten thousand yeah. in one night. So even let me say a thousand in one night, bro. You Investing when you are going to a strip club, you want to look good, yeah. right? Or when you're going out, you want to look good. Yeah. So why not pay for your looks? You paying two hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> for those shoes. Yep. And if you wear that shoe, your hair might still look a mess. Right. At least this haircut will last it you go one week or right. two, hopefully yeah. two. Right. So you gotta pay a nice amount. But I'm not saying that's not my price on the normal. Like I still charge. Yeah, yeah. And it's crazy because. When I was going up on my price, I still have like, cause me, it's all, to me, it's all about relationship. Right. I like to build a relationship right. with people. I don't want it to just be a one time thing. If you tell me your situation and I know your situation, I'll still work with you. I won't right. say, oh, I don't want to cut you anymore. Right. Because you except we don't have a relationship. Right. Both our relationships. So, but I had a, a client that bro, I was still charging him twenty dollars. Even when I was going up, I was still charging mm. him twenty dollars. I know his situation, but um. When he got to a better stage in life, I didn't even have to tell him. He just knew what's up. But the guy just started giving me hundred dollars for haircuts. That's what's up. So it's like you respect you respect him. He respect him and he yeah he respect me back. So yep. that's what I like about it. I want to build that relationship because I'm not gonna even gonna say I'm the best, but I try to keep a good relationship so that you you want me because right. we have a relationship. Right. But you can go anywhere else. But the relationship that me and you have, you probably won't have get it somewhere somebody else. else. So funny. I know some good barbers, they just don't have good social skills, bro. Mm -hmm. They don't have good social skills. They don't know how to keep a relationship with people. And right. that could kill your career. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you could be good, but nobody want to sit yeah. in your chair. Yeah. So people want to go somewhere that they're comfortable with. Like chat, banter, yeah, you know, And it's like a therapy, man. You want to come sit down. Right. Let's talk about right. what's going on. Right. I'll tell you my life. You tell me your life. And we'll balance everything out. Right. Each haircut, you will learn something. Right. I'll try to teach you something. Or you might teach me something. Right. So that's what I like in the game now. So it's not just about, right. oh, I just cut this person and make this amount. So now right. let's talk. Let's talk. Let's let's let's, gist, let's, let's, pick, let's pick brands. That's why I try <laughs> to keep a high end clientele now because you learn I want to learn. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you somebody that want to learn, I want you to sit in my chair too. Because right. we can bounce right. ideas together. Right. Slowly will Man, grow. that's dope. I just feel like, see, it's crazy because we met off haircuts. Yeah. So it's <laughs> crazy. Like, small bro, world. That's why I said, bro, it can't take you so far. I didn't bro. even know you were Nigerian. Yeah. You see? A lot, a lot. Cause, so once bro, I seen your when IG. When I'm here, blending. Uh, that's what like I'm saying. Chameleon. Chameleon. No, bro, you got I was, this. No, no. <laughs> you go fit. But I was looking for a barber, and my girl was like, oh, yeah, I know this dude in Kansas City. And then she mentioned him. And the barber shop, Diamond Cuts, you're talking about, yeah. her house is not too far from me. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she's like, oh, yeah, I know where this dude, his name is this. So I said, and that's when I sent you mm -hmm. a DM. I'm like, I'm trying to get fresh. I didn't spy the page. I'm like, ah, Charlotte. Client tell this guy go bill me or this nigga gonna charge me like racks. <laughs> yeah, but it was when you came in, it was, it, was, it was love. It was, it was worth love. it. It was yeah, all so, love too. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about building yeah. that connection. Building I'm not gonna lie, African boy, I like the way 
I pulled up. The whole place nice. I find it. You didn't log in. You log in. I go send me <laughs> this thing. This guy's in the so front. So he texts so me, say, into. yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Because it's luxury, man. Yeah, people, people, want, yeah. people want luxury, bro. Yeah, it was a they, vibe, they, man. They, 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 oh, the... The more we grow, mm-hmm. we want luxury. Yeah, that's like, facts. Right, people are staying in luxury that's apartments facts. now. Nobody's going to mm-hmm. this apartment that you climb four right. stories to nah. get to. You. This is nice. So yeah. we want luxury now. Yeah. So that's the goal. Like I, the where I work at right now, I want to open something like, like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually, and just get like some. Nah, you you gonna just, do it for nah, sure? Nah, it will come. It will yeah, come. It's God, God's sure. timing. Yeah. I, I don't like to rush anything right. anymore. Right. I just want to get to a point where right. you know I could when when. When it's time, I'll feel it. Right, I'll you gonna know. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like if you're rushing things, right, it goes right, shaky. But when it's time, everything will follow. Chale, man, I appreciate so, you so oh, yeah, much, man. man. It's good to talk to you guys, man. man. Chale, I know you guys have learned a lot today. Yeah, no. Nah, uh, and if you a barber out there, keep grinding for nah, real, nah, man. Okay, it'll come. It'll Broski come. right here, evidence that Chale money day is signed. No, there's bro. money in it, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? What the crazy thing? They don't preach this in African okay. homes. Hell no. Bro. They want you to go bro, learn. Like, books. I went to school because the reason why I went to school, I've never worked. Mm. I've never been to a job interview. I've never filled in any job application. The reason why I went to school was I have three brothers that went to school. Mm-hmm. And in an African home, it's only school. School is the way, way out. Which I don't blame them because as for a while, me and my dad, we didn't really have the best relationship because I felt like he forced me to school. Mm. when I From high school, I already know what I wanted to be. Right. So, But the older I got, I came to realize that from his generation, barbers don't make nothing. No bread, yeah. So... Why would you want your kid to go? He's just looking out for you. In his yes, way. but you know, yeah, I was yeah. young and I didn't really yeah. see it like that. Yeah. So the older I got, I came to realize, yeah, he was really just having looking a back. Out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we gotta it be open, man. Because, yeah, yeah. but I, I was in a like in my family, I felt uncomfortable because mm. I'm the only one that's not, you know, right. engineer or right. doctor or right. this and that. You know, when we we'll go to family, I have Baba we'll, then forgive him tight to. But when we we'll go to like family reunion, like my aunties is this saying, ah, this one, you know, this one want to go school. Like, bro, <laughs> Are you serious? Nah, nah, it's real, bro. So that's when when I start cutting, I'm like, yo, I gotta find you a have way to, to make it. I have to find a way to make level. it look yeah. successful. Yeah. Like, yeah, I want it to look successful. So when I sit down at the table with all right. these people, I could talk. Right. Without you know anybody saying this one went out go school so, like yeah, you already know African people now. African people that yeah, yeah, no, so, so bro there's so, <laughs> so many ways to make income Man. bro so many yeah. ways to make income but as long as you're good at what you do as long as yeah. you're good at what you do yeah. bro yeah. talents yeah. kill right anything right like, bro something right. you're talented at it's not even like work anymore mm-hmm. like, I could go to work and stand and be there for fifteen plus hours but bro it's I, it's not work. It's right. something I love doing, You're doing it and I'm dealing it. with my clients that I enjoy being around. So, but we're just vibing. It's like I vibe we're every gisting. day. We're just I'm just standing, right. but we're right. everybody. We're all just right. mm-hmm. So a whole day will go by. You make so much money, it don't even feel like you work. Right. So that's that's why I say anything that you're talented in, bro. Push you gotta it. push it. Push yeah. it, bro. Man, that was social media. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> so this podcast safe. That's what I do. Nah, bro. Forget. Appreciate you, Next man. Next two, three years, you'll yes, be a whole nother yes, level, sir. bro. Appreciate like, you for just sure. Just yeah. consistent. Consistency. Yeah. Consistent. Reaching out. Yeah. You know, getting people on here. Before you know, you gotta sit down with David. Bon mm-hmm. boy. Charlie, soon come, man. <laughs> it's a, the inside. Soon bro, come, soon they're going to call now, Seth. You guys won't have uh, openings anymore, Seth. Charlie. So I'm booked out for two years. Man, it's it's, it's getting there. I mean, it's yeah, been yeah. less than a year now. Yeah, we started we in well. September. In the beginning, mm-hmm. it was, I mean, getting guests wasn't as easy as now. Right. Now we're booked Now, out. Now oh, yeah. people actually say, oh, hey, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. And yeah. then if it makes sense, they yeah. were like, oh, yeah, sure. You yeah. know, come on. So it's, it's, it's fun. And I like yeah. to talk. He likes yeah. to talk. Yeah, and bro, know. trust me, it's only get bigger from yeah. there, bro. Appreciate you. Yes, it's only sir. get bigger. Yes, it's just being consistent. Yes, and, you know, just putting it out yeah, there. Yeah, tell you. Social media is bigger, bro. It's, it's, it's plain as part. Right yeah, now, yeah. yeah. Social media is part, big. Man. I'm just trying to find my... It's like I was... When I was doing it, I was on social media in like 2017, 2016. Yeah. It wasn't as big as, as what it, it was now, now but yeah. I was pushing hard then. So I felt like I did as much as I could. Right. You know, that's what got me where I'm at right, right now. Mm-hmm. Now I could kind of sit back. Right. I could, bro, I could go like two, three years without posting, but I'm right. booked every week. Right. But... You put if, in the work, though. Yeah, so, I put in the work already, yeah, but then. just imagine if I was putting in that work now. Every, every day. Ooh. If I was putting that same amount of work With that I did media. then now, bro, Oof. I would have been 
ten times bigger. That's facts. But you know, I appreciate yeah, everything. Yeah. Bro, probably if I was as big, if I was ten times bigger than what right. I am now, I probably wouldn't right. even know how to balance it. Right. So I like the balance right yeah. now. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. I want more, right. but I want it with time. I don't right. want it like right. just right away. Man, that's hard, man. That's yeah. hard. I know your wife proud of you. She probably I, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll push each other. That's what's up. She make life a lot easier for me because the hours that I'm working, the time I'm out the house, I know my kids are they cool. in, they're yeah. in a good hands. So yeah. she make it a lot easier, man. That's like, good, man. You can't, you don't, you won't find too many people like that. Right, right, Because, right. bro. Right. It's hard out here, man. Uh, the streets <laughs> is bloody. <laughs> It's hard out here, man. man. <laughs> I just been talking to my clients. I'm I'm dealing with like thirty plus people a day, bro. Yeah, you hear it's, what they bro, tell it's, you, man, <laughs> right. bro? It's, it's terrible. Yeah, out here, yeah. Man. Cause one thing, if you're working that much, just no home is comfortable. Mm -hmm. Your kids are safe. Your mind is not really. Your mind is relaxed. Yeah. But if you have so much other things going on, bro, you can't really focus right. at work, man. Right. Or you're at work distracted. You got to pick up this call. Right. You got to run here. You got to run there. Eventually, you start losing clients. That's Your facts. Your clients will start. That's facts. So she make it a lot easier for me. She make yes, sir. So, bro. Shout, shout I'm, out I'm to thankful. shout out to wife, man. I'm thankful, keep yeah. it, thankful. keep it a boy young. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I swear down. But the kids are making me old. Oh, Tyler, uh, yeah. it's My, all good, bro. man. It's all love, man. But you know, I'm thankful, man. I'm yes, thankful. sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Man, we're thankful for you to on. Um, Actually coming on the show, Definitely. taking time out of Definitely. your day to come chop it up with us. You Definitely. know, man. It's, it's all love. Many more man. years to come. Man. Ah, Every two years, years from now when I come back, back. Updates. Shit, updates. I might be bigger I just go to text you. Oh, well, yeah, updates. Come <laughs> drop updates. <laughs> yeah, but, but um, yeah, the well, the hookah stuff that you guys are doing, keep me updated. Appreciate uh, you. Yeah, for I'll sure. For sure. Try to push it as much as I can. Yeah, yeah. Too, bro, yeah that's love. I'm like, bro, do you know the amount of chiefs, Nigerians, Africans that are in the chiefs? Players? I've seen them. They got like yeah. what ten now, or yeah. there's more. Every year they keep year. signing they keep them, man. Africans on the team yeah. because bro, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're yeah. the strongest people. Right, like right. Them, so. They say goofy take hits. <laughs> so, bro. so nah, bro. Get those people on to your Facts. to your event, man. Facts, and, bro. Because they want to vibe with right. Africans. It's just it's a different right. city. Because right. if they're right. in anywhere else, they're around all Africans. Right. But right. I don't know. I think the Africans in here. I'm probably I'm part of them. We need to come out more. We need like you put it high. Yeah, no, but we need like classy stuff yeah. like that to yeah. you know yeah. pull us out because yeah. it gotta make sense. Yeah, yeah, it gotta make right. sense. I don't know why I want to leave the house right. and you know you're risking your yeah. family or anything. Right. But yeah, if you're Ando Africans now, you know it's safe. You know it's yeah. safe for sure. One hundred percent safe for sure. We'll definitely keep you in the loop. Yeah, Charlie. definitely. We'll definitely keep you in the loop. And if you don't fly yourself, come put fly in the show. Ah, all right, bet. We'll for fly sure. in the show. Anybody that's sitting there, we we'll go see out. Yeah, this is one thing that we can do. Man, are there any words you want to tell like the Cruise Life family before we wrap up? Oh shit, just keep pushing, bro. Yes, keep pushing. Sir, Anything bro. you're doing, just consistency, bro. Consistency beats everything. Somebody could be very good at something and they're not doing it consistently, but you that's consistent, you're not as good as him, mm. but you will out you will outweigh him. Right. So right. as long as you're consistent, you'll be good. Successful in anything you're doing. Man, I appreciate you oh, yeah, so definitely. much, Charlie. On the cruise line, we make the sound of the boat. Uh -huh. So the boat makes the pawn sound. Okay. So <laughs> the boat is basically two brothers from Ghana uh -huh. moving to America. Okay. So that's the whole cruise line vibe. We okay. Get yeah, that, that's, that's so cool. on three, we're going to make the pawn sound. Okay, like we're all the captains of yeah, the boat. Captain, yeah, captain. Right? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know how Lily go. You can eat this one. <laughs> that's good. Cool, that's good. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Pawn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rachel, what's up?